Hi, so my name is Kendall Hayward, and I'm going to be doing um, this first problem from the Wiley homework this week. And um, so the problem says a tennis ball is struck and departs from the racket horizontally with a speed of 28.9 meters per second. The ball hits the court at a horizontal distance of 20.8 meters from the racket. How far above the court is the tennis ball when it leaves the racket? So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a little picture. I have a little guy with a tennis racket here, and he's going to be hitting a tennis ball um, this direction. And in this direction, it is going to have a horizontal velocity of 28.9 meters per second. And that is equal to our v initial in the x direction. So the problem also gives me the information that uh, this tennis ball is going to travel um, 20.8 meters before the time that it um, is going to hit the ground. So this distance, I'm just going to call it 20.8 meters, and that's our x distance. And this is how far the ball is going to travel in a certain amount of time before it comes in contact with the ground. So now that we've drawn our picture, we're going to look at what the problem is actually asking us. And it is asking us to find how high off the ground um, was the ball hit into the air. So we're looking for this distance right here, which is going to be y. And this is the variable that we want to solve for. By looking at your picture, you can tell that this problem is going to have two dimensions. Um, so what we're starting with is a velocity in the x direction as well as an x, an x distance. Um, but then we're solving for the height, which is in the y dimension. So my next step in the problem is going to be to make assumptions about uh, values that I can, and then um, figure out the other values that I am going to need to solve for. I like to split everything up into the x and y dimension. So I'm gonna make an x column and a y column. Here we know that our velocity initial in the x direction is 28.9 meters per second and the distance that we are traveling in the x direction is 20.8 meters per second. For the y, we are going to, we do not have a initial velocity in the y direction because everything is horizontal, so that's going to be zero. Um, our distance, our displacement in the y direction is what we're going to be solving for. Then we can assume, since this is projectile motion, we can assume that our acceleration in the y direction is going to be due to gravity, which is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. We also know that time is going to be the variable that will link these two dimensions together. So we're going to have to solve for that. Um, and it looks like with the information we have that we can solve for time. So now that I've written down pretty much all of the information that I have, I'm going to check out my kinematics equations, and which are right here. And I'm going to see if there's anything that I can use um, to help me solve for um, the time variable. I almost forgot that. But we can also assume that our acceleration in the x direction, um, we can say that it's equal to zero meters per second squared. We can say this because this is projectile motion, meaning that the only acceleration um, acting on this tennis ball is going to be acceleration due to gravity, and that's in the y dimension. With that being said, I'm going to try and find an equation that I can solve for time with um, by using my x dimension. So since I have a um, initial velocity and an x um, displacement along with an acceleration that I assumed, um, I'm going to go ahead and use this equation right here um, to solve for time. And this one also makes sense because we are missing the final velocity, which um, was never given to us in the problem. So that would be a good thing to not have in our equation. Now I'm just going to write down the equation. x equals the initial t plus 1 half at squared. And then I'm going to just begin plugging in all of my numbers that I'm get from my x dimension. So um, for x, the distance, I'm going to plug in 20.8 meters. For my initial velocity, I will use 28.9 
meters per second. My time, I don't know, so that's what I'm solving for. And then this whole second part is actually just going to get canceled out because our acceleration is equal to zero, so that's going to make that entire term go to zero. So I'll just continue solving this equation, plug it into my calculator, solve for time, and I get t equals 0.7197 seconds. Now that I've found the value for time, I can use that in both sides of my table. 0.7197 seconds. So now I have four variables in the y dimension, which should allow me to solve for my, my missing variable y. I'm going to use the same equation since we still are not interested in um, having a final velocity. Um, so it's going to be, now I'm just going to use everything in the y dimension, which will be y equals v initial in the y direction times t plus one half acceleration in the y direction t squared. Go ahead and plug in your y values into um, this equation. So we're going to be solving for y, so it's going to be y equals our velocity initial in the y dimension is zero meters per second. Our time, which we already solved for, is going to now be 0.7197 seconds plus one half. Our acceleration in the y dimension is gonna be negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And then we have our time again, 0.7197 seconds. And this term is squared. We're gonna go ahead and solve this through on our calculator. Um, this term will cancel out since it's multiplied by zero. And our final answer is going to be y equals 2.54 meters. Once you're done solving, go ahead, think about the numbers, see if that makes sense, which I would say that it does, because if we have a person hitting a tennis ball, then they'll probably, their arm will probably be somewhere around 2 meters off the ground. So I would say that that makes sense. All in all, I would say that my biggest tip for solving these two-dimensional kinematics problems is to keep everything in two dimensions. Um, don't cross your x's with your y's and everything should work out how it's supposed to. Um, other than that, it's not too bad and I hope this makes sense. Thank you.